Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2, and I see a Cyclops in the distance. So, um, having just rested, me, Silverius, and Dion, a uh, rest in peace, good friend, and colleague, I'm Googly Moogly. Oh, Silverius, did I make you too old? Is that the problem here? Okay, how heavy am I? I'm, I'm very heavy. And you're very light, so we're going to do a little bit of inventory management, because then we're going to go take on a Cyclops. All right, so give you a couple of copper ores, some beast skins, miasmite. Where did the, where's the gold? Where's the gold? Am I crazy? Didn't I get a couple of pieces of gold? Hmm, I'm still very heavy. What is so heavy? Weight highest to lowest. Modest camping kit. Okay. Let's give that to Silverius. Grievous Horns is also pretty heavy. But that won't knock me down into very light anyway. Huh. Super curious where the gold went. Unless Silverius... Did Googly Moogly have it? <gasps> oh no, I hope not. Oh, I hope not. But anyway, let's go ahead and take out this Cyclops. We can do it. Especially if we can get him to topple. He's only got a single health bar. Oh, that was pretty big AoE. All right, let's try ensnaring and see what I can do with you. And pull, 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 pull. No. What if I grab your arm and... No. All right. And try to get up onto this hand. Oh, my stamina is way down. Okay. We got to be careful here. All right. Let's knock at the armor back up. My sword strikes I think we jumped and avoided that. Thank you, Elden Ring, for the practice. Okay, hack at that legging armor. Oh, did they break some of the other one? I think they did. Okay, time to get off. I wish I could get Silverius to launch me. That would just be ideal. Watch it. Oh, watch it, he's gonna jump. Yep, he got me, okay. I really need to get up to his head. Crawling, oh, why am I crawling? Oh, that was almost really bad. Can I get up there? Oh, I'm on his arm. Maybe I can actually knock the weapon free? No? All right, let's try and snare again. Oh, it didn't... <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do biting cloak. Pull, 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 pull. Am I actually holding him still? Oh, I just cloaked again. Dion, you're not looking so good. You really need to heal. Oh, yep. Dion's down. Oh, Silverius. He just got tossed. I keep hitting the wrong one. I keep doing Shadow Cloak. Oh, Silverius is down too. Oh, this is bad. Yep, you need to come this way. Because then I'm going to grab Dion, my healer. Oh. Good. And then we move. That's a big hit, Dion. Don't be in there. So various. Quickly. Oh, that didn't work. I'm not really sure how to handle this, if I'm being honest. He's got time, I think, right? Is that the time? Yeah. Okay, ready? Ooh. Ouch. All right, Dion, I'm going to need some health here, friend. Let's back up, and I'm going to Salubrious Draft. Excellent, good heal. <gasps> you just carried him, and you dropped him here. Uh, interesting choice. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Yeah, we're not doing the damage I was hoping for. Oh, it'd be great if we could just knock him down. Oh, 
Dion just got tossed. I'm just gonna keep hacking at his legs. Oh, take him down. Take him down, guys. He's just tossing Dion a whole bunch. That's great. I'm just gonna keep going at the legs. See if I can't. Come on, Silverius. So all right, he's got a leg, so I'm gonna jump off. And I'm going to see if I can't use my ensnare on this leg. Come on, oh, oh. Grab his head, pull it. He's down. Just don't, oh. What a terrible spot, but you know what? I can't get to his head. There we go, right here. Look at that damage. Broke his horn. Just stab, 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 stab. Just get ready to get off. That was good, that was really good. Okay, ow. Where am I? On his leg? Got some damage going on. Oh, this is gonna knock me off, right? Yeah, and and take some damage. Oh, he's gonna jump again? Nope. All right, do the leg stomp again. Can I do anything if I'm pulling? No. Nope. Alright, let go. Fall down. Fall down. Grab his leg. Grab his arm. <laughs> Grab something. Oh, Severus is hurting. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? That's just not nice. Watch it. Okay, just stay in between his legs. You know, I should get some fire go. Oh, Silverius is down. And hurting. Quick, 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 quick. He's trying to run. Kind of broken right now. But if I climb the rocks, you know what? I can get right on. Don't, don't do that right now. Yeah. That was right, right in harm's way. Uh, Silverius draft. I don't like this. I can't see. He's on fire. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay, we're on his back just to finish him off. There we go. Cleanest fight? No. Messiest fight? Probably. But hey, gotta level up. And we got another Cyclops. Good for one of the, uh, the creature tokens, right? Misshapen Eye, nice. Rugged Bone. Another mis Wait, oh, Beastake, no. That'd be funny if you get more than one Misshapen Eye from a Cyclops. Now, I thought he had also dropped a Rugged Bone. Yeah, there we go. Nice and heavy now. <laughs> really nice and heavy. All right, well. Let's go ahead and give these to good friend Silvarius. There we go. And let's start making our way back to the capital. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Now there's a uh, That's a big goblin fortress that I don't think we should be taking on while we are upon short. No, we're going to make our way back. We have some plans. Let's stick to it. Grand Petal, that's new. I feel like I'm I'm just scratching the surface here. I knew the village would be in a bad way. But ne'er did I expect to see an entire bask of Saurians picking out bones. Oh Saurians. What to do? Yeah, more than my life's worth. 
Now there's a hassle I could do without. All right, I thought maybe you'd want some assistance with the Saurians, but guess you're good on your own. Oh no, the docks. Is that where Bitter Black Isle's gonna make a return? Don't. Okay, I'll just take these apples. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? No, you're not. Actually, someone else noticed it previously. That we can't share equipment. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Now, the question is, will I be able to get... Oh, I don't have to get on top of this bridge. We're good. Perfect. So, let's go turn in the art staff and the greatsword. And now that Silverius and I are both level 10, actually technically level 11 now, let's see what new goodies have opened up. I have a feeling we might have quite a few options at our disposal now. I'd like some new skills. I'd like to upgrade some skills too, if at all possible. Oh, to port crystal, if only I found this previously. Then again, I would have missed out on the Cyclops. Use of a fairy stone will instantly teleport you to the location of a port crystal. Permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you all may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 placed at various locations throughout the world. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone destinations. There we go. Very different looks, these fairy stones. I dig it. All right, Shakir. Well met. You, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. Oh, it wasn't Shakir. No. It was the Vocation Guild. Which was right next door? Gotta look for the symbol of the blades, right? This right here? I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. Good tidings, sir. There we go, Klaus. Retrieval of those plundered weapons. Oh ho! You have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. Well, good news. Oh, does that mean I can... Oh, I can change Silverius to a warrior. <gasps> a wrong interaction button. Greetings. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Wait, why can't I... Well, give me the option to give you the... Come again. Do I have to do talk, maybe? Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocation. What about talking? Fox Roderick will be. He runs the local. No. Fortune smile upon you, sir. But I want to change to warrior, and you won't let me because I need to give you a great sword. But I have a great sword. I wonder if maybe I have to rest in between. That would seem silly. Okay. Well, let's take a look at Julie, shall we? So we've unlocked Sorcerer. We're not going to go Sorcerer, although the extra magic damage in the long run might be good. And I do want to probably try out magic at some point, but let's see. Okay, so we now have some upgrade skills, which is great. Ignited Blades, longer lasting effect, can also be employed while clinging or pinning down a foe, which we already knew. All right, this is good. Smoke Screen throws a smoke bomb that blinds nearby targets. That's very, very good. We now have foot pad kicks off a wall, allowing the user to launch themselves a great distance. Oh. Can I launch myself further up or is it just further back? Gratification slightly restores health when you deliver the killing blow. I like that. I do like that a lot. But I'm thinking ignited blades might be the better purchase. Let's do that. And let's see. I do like Biting Wind. I'm not using Shadow Cloak as often. Yeah, I'm not using that as often. Why don't we use something cool like... 
concussive step, I think. Although Helm Splitter is really good. You know, let's go Helm Splitter. Who doesn't love the good Helm Splitter? So let's get rid of Shadow Cloak. There we go. So, Varius, I'm going to leave your discipline points as is. We are going to give some Seekers tokens. That gives me the Ring of Vehemence, which is the Wares attacks are more likely to stagger and knock down foes. That's going to be perfect for Silverius. Do come again. So I don't know if I need to rest or what. Do I still have the quest? I do. So that's very strange. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. Let's go to Silverius. Did Googly Mo Moogly have the great sword? Did he have the great sword? He did, didn't he? He absolutely did. That's why. I let Googly Moogly die. Uh, oh, what do we need to do? We need to go back to Julie. Give this to Silvarius. Quip right. Quip left. There we go. Oh, no. Can I just go buy one? Because that's... That's a problem. I wonder if I can't just go buy one. Hmm. Silverius is resting. Yeah, we're going to have to rest up anyway because we're all kind of hurt. What's my gold situation? 2,000 is not going to be enough to buy one, even if there is one. The goblin's lair. I hope you can reclaim aught from the fiends. It would bring me peace of mind. Yeah, I know, but that's the problem. Broadsword's not going to cut it, is it? Hmm. That's disappointing. Taught them a lesson, at least. That is very disappointing. Ooh, Silver Rapier. Should we bump that up? I think so. Well, no, because we're going to be switching to a great sword anyway. Well. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. I think it's just going to look like me eventually coming across a great sword and then bringing it. That's about all I can think. Okay, so Riftstone, Dion, it's been an absolute pleasure. Can I still? No. I need to take stuff off of you, however. I'm sorry, but I'm going to completely empty your inventory, minus what I gave you. So I'm going to give that to Silverius. Oh, that's, that's about all you had. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's for the best. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Severius, you have a rumor? All right, Dion. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer. It has been an absolute pleasure. What am I going to send you away with? Nice roberant. Ro what do you like? Mince meat? Mm, I'll give you mince meat, roberant. Yeah. Give you a thumbs up. All You're told, great. I'm rather satisfied with my performance. I'm satisfied with your performance too. I think you did great. Oh, Noelle's looking pretty cool. Lion, fitting name. Okay, now I'm curious. Is there anyone playing on my friends list yet? I'm on PlayStation, so probably not because this is still day one and it's not yet midnight. But let's see. Uh, search for pawn, friends pawns. Nothing. Okay. Pond, your main pond knows nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's disappointing. View linked rift stones. Summoning unique pawns. When you enter the rift, you'll be able to use the summoning functions you have unlocked at any of the forgot. Oh, that's what the forgotten rift stones are for. Interesting. They're for unique pawns? Hmm. I don't know why I'm checking the monthly rankings hours after this launched. All right. Wow. Look at these levels already. 
Wow, yep, okay. Hopefully we'll see Silverius up here one day. That'd be great. Let's search for a pawn. What do we want to do? Vocation? I think... Archer and Mage? Let's do Archer and Sorcerer, yeah? Leave it as that. Again, as long as we have healing. Freya, you do cost. I'm not looking to spend money. Scarlet's looking pretty cool. It is a pleasure to meet you. Can I check your details, please? Okay. You've got some good stuff, but no healing. You have Salamander, Thundermine, Flagration, and Frigger. Well, I love... Is it... I think that's because it's Sorcerer. Maybe I should just do Mage. Let's change it to Mage. So, Advanced Search. Uh, Archer and Mage. And I am just going to say Maximum Level 11, just again, to keep it free. Sorry, everyone. Ooh, Morticia, you're looking pretty cool. Seiya, Kia. Sweet, <laughs> sweet cheeks. You had me at sweet cheeks. Oh, where's where's the 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 healing? I need heals. Walt, Morticia. Who sounds like a healer? Iru? Iru does, right? It is a pleasure to meet you. Palladium. Well, that's pretty cool. Not what I want, though. Do I need to select Anodyne? Is that what I'm doing wrong here? Advanced Pawn Search. Search by weapon skill. Let's do... Is it... Okay, am I wrong? Is it not mage that I want? Maybe it is sorcerer? I don't see any anodyne. Hmm. Well, now I'm confused. Hmm. I'm really not sure why no one has heals. Well, I guess it's on me. Queen, can you come? No? No, all right. All right, never mind. Let's just grab a couple pawns. We got things to do. We gotta go find a great sword. We gotta get... We gotta get our Tories moving. Ada, Zara, there's Walt again. Ooh, Alistair. Ooh, look at that staff. Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. You'll be safe in my... That, see, that sounds good in theory, but you don't have... Oh, court... Because it's core skills. It's not a weapon skill. That's why. All right, you're coming with us. It will be an honor to serve by your side. And now an archer, please. Ooh, who's that next to you? We got queen. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour. Oh, I like your face paint. No pawn quest though. All right, fine. If we share our strengths, we can begin. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow to. Uh, the pawn to act independently and this can result in unexpected consequences however with a little patience planning and due care specializations can prove very useful and are well worth trying out if you'd like your pawn to learn a specialization you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you sooner or later these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire specialization whoa just because i meet people a pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. I wonder if that means that she has a special... a specialization. Okay. I think it's probably... Yeah, we don't, and that's a real problem. Especially because the quest... The, the quest says... Oh, see, that's such a problem. 
It says that I can bring it, but I don't have it anymore. What if... No. Because you can't take items off. I was saying, what if I were to hire a warrior and then... What does this say? And then bring them back. I just have to find a, a greatsword, I think, in the wild. Truly disappointing. Well, I think we need to go rest. It's going to cost me a pretty... I don't have enough to rest. I quite literally don't have enough to rest. I could go out and camp somewhere. But Silverius is in such bad shape. All right, what can we do? We could sell. Interested in my wares? No, I'm not. Not at the moment. I need more Rift Crystals. Okay. Bear with me a moment. I'll be back. We're going to figure this out. Well, I guess the only thing that I can really do is uh, resort to just thievery at this point. Because we can't rest without another 300 gold. Possibly I do. What can I sell? Okay, rope rents are pretty good. And with just selling one of these, I could at least sleep the night and I frankly need to. Yep. Stop by again soon. I will. Almost certainly. All right. We can finally rest and hey, we'll see if Silverius comes back with anything good. Maybe he comes back with a great sword. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, man, you will soon forget. I just can't believe how expensive everything is. All right, rest till morning. And then I guess we'll just continue on with the main quest. We can't do anything without that great sword, and that's really disappointing. Wasn't even thinking. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go then. Uh, no. Doesn't look like he's returned from anywhere. Oh, we need to rest till night, though, don't we? But we can do that at a bench. We can do that right here. So let's actually rest till evening. There we go. And we will quest it up. See to the Sovereign. And we just got to go to the pub. All right, Brant. Please don't ask me to buy you a drink. It's not, it's not nighttime, is it? So, all right. Forget it. Where's the where's the ladder? Of course, I'm gonna get sidetracked. This ladder right here? We've been up there. But also, why is it not nighttime? I think there's a de dedicated bench in here, though, right? Okay. So if I doze off. Do I just have to keep dozing off? I mean, it's getting later, but... There we go. Alright, that works. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. All right, I'll follow you. Where are we going? Hey, I was just sleeping here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the Sovereign, that is, the False Arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true Arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens 
who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity, will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Is one of them getting a great sword? Oh, monster calling, queen regent, and tell me of the magistrate. Very familiar with trying to get your worm hunt license from the first dragon's dogma. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Is that not where I just was? And I got the great sword and then Googly Moogly died? I wonder if this is, you know, they're going to give me the key to open up that door, though. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Which is actually what I just heard the villagers talking about outside of the gates. That's pretty cool. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. We have been charged with the felling of monsters. And we will do that, but we'll do that in the morning. We face our task with an advantage, whatever it may be. There we go. Yeah, we're familiar with it. Pray, allow me to show you the way. Okay, Alistair actually knows where it is though, which is pretty cool. Do love that. Seriously, the pawn system is one of the most unique in, in gaming. I can't recall anything quite like it. The way that your pawn gets barred by other people and they learn about quests and locations and monsters and all this, and then they bring that information back to you. I mean, that's that's it. kind of incredible. You look... No, fine. You, you look fine. I'm gonna say you look distraught. Oh, care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? I don't know, but already I don't like you. My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Accompanying an ox cart all the way to Melv. Of course we're going to. I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day. But I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice. And I would advise against trying any funny business. I'm sorry, you want me to pay to accompany your ox cart each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers see in case it encounters any monsters out on the road so anyone thinking of riding for free he will have to take the issue up with them but enough of my lecturing just make sure that letter gets to sir lenart then come find me when the job's done oh and i'll pay your fare this time oh thank goodness as you're doing me a favor and all Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Uh, okay. It is a glorified errand we've been given, but we're best see to it all the same. Maybe we want to do this? I don't know. Something tells me let's just get this done. You know, timing of quests and all that. It will take a better mind than mine to solve this. Oh, and there's our, there's our cart. I mean, I suppose we'll just doze off, right? It falls on me. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. 
This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Oh, wait. He said that he would... Oh, maybe he already gave me the 100 gil? That's probably what it was. Ox carts are relatively safe means. <laughs> relatively. Traveling between towns, their services are available at regular intervals for a fair sum of gold. You need only visit an ox cart station, pay the fare, and climb aboard. The ox will do the rest. How you spend the journey is up to you. You can enjoy the scenery rolling slowly by or doze off and make the road feel much shorter. Ox cart raids and monster attacks are not unheard of, however, so it is always advisable to be prepared for battle. Just in case. Are we ready? What exactly are we waiting on? I guess I can doze off now anyway. Okay. Oh, can't see. Lantern on. Oh, the lantern on is very, very quick. Where did that wolf go? Good. Glad. Glad we stopped for that. And doze off again. And imagine if we were able to do this with Mercedes and the uh, Hydra head. Great job, everyone. Now, question. I'm a broken record, but does anyone have a great sword? All right, Sir Leonard. Yeah, you know, we might as well check a case, even though I'm broke as a, well, broke person. Yeah, nothing there. Thank you, Dudley. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just well, not here. Oh, what are you guarding the well for? Oh, it's Leonard. I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding a task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Yeah, after you read this letter. Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the saurians scattering. That'll be easy enough. I, what can I do for you? Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? Tis a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Yeah, we do. But we also now have some saurians to kill. Yeah, I'm not going to report back to Dunavan yet. Not when I can throw some explosive barrels at some saurians. So that's where the saurians are. Where did you place? Oh, right here. Look. I mean, can I... Can I throw them from here? That's quite the toss. Oh my gosh, I can. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Ha 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 ha. Oh, careful now. Dry off as soon as you can. Not dead. Um, you're not doing a great job with those arrows. And... My magic Easy enough. I guess we head back to that Sir Leonard. Thank you much. I'm pretty pleased. More quests like that actually would be phenomenal. That Lady Margaret's a kindly sort. We met when I worked with her husband. So yes, I know, but don't you have words for me? Nesting troubles. Tell Leonard how you 
Yeah. That just makes sense. I wonder what the hands next to it mean. Just, I guess, updated? Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest, and your task is done. Now we are to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. Right. Um, hmm. I mean, exterminating is one thing, but eliminating forever is kind of another. Also, the nest is pretty, pretty well gone. But all right. I do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, nesting there. There's a whole lot of shoreline, though. You've done as I asked. I see. Many thanks for your efforts. I'll take that sword now. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Watching you got me thinking. Mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. He is the fighter vocation meister, so I guess building reputation with him is going to be important. It's done. Whoa, did we just get 1,250 gold? That was hardly a challenge for adventurers of our caliber. That's actually very, very true. All right, let's let's head back. Let's take the the ox cart. Is this heading back? I just want to live as I you have nothing to do with that. All right. So what if I await the ox cart? Because right now it's here. Maybe this will turn it around. All right, nice little faster. I could have used a fairy stone. That works for me. Say some coin before I let you on. Please, hundred gil. I just made twelve hundred just chucking stuff at lizards. I wonder if there's a chance the great sword will respawn in the cave since it got lost. All right, made it back uneventfully, which is great. Uh, let's actually set our quest to return to Dunavan. Who is right here? Ah, he returned. How splendid! You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound. And from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> You've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Five thousand gil and miners hosen. Convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed. Pretty excited about that. All right, let's do quests. We're gonna do monster culling. Let's make that our primary, and we want to go to Trevor Mine. Local map. Yeah, so we, we've been there, because that's where my third marker is. That's where the the locked door was. Oh, what's happening? That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? Hmm? Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me in Malv. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Uh, well, you're welcome. Oi, sir. We've started selling that medicine you gave me at our shop. 
Why don't you come see? All right. I mean, it's just sal Oh no, it wasn't Salubrious Draft. It was oh, the the row. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? You, you know what I'm about to ask. Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off or to you buy. So spend away, my good sir. All right, what do we got? An ornate box. All right. And this was a quest. An intricate curio sold by a merchant who deals in such trinkets. Something small can be stored within the internal compartment. Fascinating. I mean, I think I have to grab that, don't I? It doesn't weigh very much at all, either. Always a pleasure. Okay, so what, what's that quest about? It seems an argument has broken out between a merchant and his customer. Perhaps you should see what all the fuss is about. Well, I just bought the ornate box. Can I talk to you some more? Shurigan's Tome? Specialization? <gasps> hey! Enables the pawn to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies on their own initiative. Pawns without the skill are only able to use items on themselves. Oh, that's pretty cool. How do I use that? Is it just the tome itself? Silverius acquired the... Chi Chirurgeon? Chirur I don't know. But that's pretty cool. So now if you borrow Silverius, he'll be able to uh, aid you a bit more. That's... Pretty neat. Now, Oriel, can I talk to you a bit more? Welcome and well met. The safer the roads, the heavier. No. It's always a pleasure. So, who was it that had the problem? Was it you? Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness, but I've a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. How much is some? What do you need it for? Okay. A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, twould seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, the box might be gone. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious because it says that there's a small compartment where something can be stored. Is there any way to inspect it? Hmm. There's not. What happens now if I give him the coin, but I have the box? Yes. Is there aught I can do? Oh, I can't. I can. All right, let's just let's give him the box, I guess. Considered my request. You, you bought it for me. Thank you. I'll treasure this. You're a kind soul. Pray let me return the favor someday. He spoke of returning the favor, but what could a lad of his age possibly muster? Oh, Silverius, you are not one. To be ageist about this, okay? Receive uh, recompense in a few days' time. Right, right. All right, we're going to double check. Right, we're just going to double check, make sure you didn't just somehow get a great sword. But I highly doubt it, considering what you're saying now. Okay. All right, let's, let's start making our way. Making our way back to the goblin cave. Okay, fortunately it wasn't too far. I should probably 
I keep hitting the wrong button. I should probably at least make the monster culling my main quest. Are those harpies up by the ballista? They're still over here talking about Saurians. Don't worry, we're going to be dealing with them for you. Oh, can't forget the really cool helm splitter I just got. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit. Lightning attacks and damage. When a lightning attack is unleashed, the magical energy cannot be contained. Bolts of lightning will branch off and jump to targets in the vicinity, dealing additional damage. Moreover, if a drenched target is struck by a lightning attack, the resulting bolts will be able to reach, reach a wider audience. Yeah, so this is where those drenching arrows are going to come into play. Okay, nice pin. What am, what am I pulling in? I guess it was just the snare, huh? Over so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Ooh. What is this tower? Strive to better ourselves with every battle. I think we need to explore this tower. Wait, is this the tower with the ballista at the top? This is where my luck runs out. Agnes Melody. Another tome that's going to cause magic, yeah? Fire Boon, which enchants weapon with fire. I love, I love this, this idea of non-magic users being able to cast magic. Again, very Skyrim. Never can have too many of these. That's true, explosive arrows are pretty great. The next foe we encounter. This is a rather uh, tall tower. Yep, there are some harpies. Oh, but a nice ornate chest there. Nice pin. Oh, and snare is just the coolest, it's coolest skill. Bring it over here. Come. Oh, you just fell to your death, I think. Watch it now. Come on. Take care of you. Let my magic you oh, well, careful now. Come on, grab. Don't fall, people. Are they dead? And no, they shouldn't be. They they should be able to fly. All right, while they're coming back up, check out this chest. Ring of awareness. Where the fiends attacks, they'll put you in. Oh, careful now. Rendering you defenseless in an instant. Get here. Oh, Silvery Snow. Oh, don't drop him. Oh. All right, that that just about did it, I think. Well done. All right, Ring of Awareness. Reduces accumulation of the uh, wear sleep value. Okay, so good against Harpies. Ah, how'd you like that? that was pretty good. That was worth it. All right, we're gonna be wrapping up here soon, but let's see if we can't make it to the cave. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. Well, yeah. Oh, oh. I can think of all manner of uses for a good Look at all these great swords. I should be able to have these. For our enemies. Okay, so it's a little dark now. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. Oh, and there's where we rested. That's uh, that's quite the drop. Ah, oh, I'll take that. 
We might find a use for it. Luckily, they're going down nice and quick, but this will be really good. Really good discipline points. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Let's not fight the phantasms. They are kind of a right pain. What I wouldn't give oh. Lie in that field of stars. Indeed. You are correct. Wakestone shard. I don't trust that. I don't trust that drop at all. Meaning we're gonna have to... Oh! Oh, we have to backtrack a whole lot more than I thought. That's not too bad. Back on the road. Not really sure how I didn't see that coming. That is just such a hilarious move. Oh, the pinning. Wait. Oh! I, it's almost cruel to just pin them to the ground like that, and yet... So, so effective. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Oh, really? Should okay. Yes, you should. Answering pawn suggestions with go. Using the go command immediately after a pawn makes a suggestion will prompt them to follow through with their idea. Yes. So what is go? So is that, that was Alistair, right? Awesome. I would like to see where you're taking us. This is generally used as a material. Mm, I didn't mean for you to get material. I wanted you to take us to the Forgotten Riftstone. Oh, we have Saurians. Okay. Right on the tail. Well done. Absolutely brutal. Very nice. Master. No, you, you did great. You did great. Where's the rift stone? Are you still taking us? It doesn't doesn't look like you are. Drats. Okay. What about the... Maybe it's by the treasure chest, which seems to be under the bridge this way. That looks like deep water. Have you forgotten something, Ozen? <laughs> yes. You're looking rather lost. I am rather lost. I'm looking for a treasure. I'm looking for a forgotten rift crystal. Alistair stopped leading the way. Ah, here we go. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Now, it didn't rebuild last time. Into our bed rolls. So what if I examine? Does this give me Riftstone of Noontide? Does it tell me who the unique one is? I guess not. Hold on. Did that say... Did that say find female? Is that what that said? Do I have it specified for that? Or is it just this particular one? Find female pawns of large stature. Is that... That's what this riftstone finds. Female pawns of large stature. Okay. I guess that's the uniqueness factor of this one. And here's the chest. 
We found the chest. Means being a rover. Hey, that's what we gave to our, our friend Dion. Do we want to make camp? Let's make camp. Let's do it. Let's make camp. Let's see if anything happens. And if not, we'll sleep through the night. We'll call it apart. And then we're going to hit up the cave in the morning. I really do love the camping feature. I think that's great. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. And it's raining. Come, we've much to be getting on with. It's kind of lovely. I hope you slept well. What is this plant? Oh, this is just the grapes. Right. Well, as we make our way closer and closer to the cave, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. After we kill some wolves here. Okay. And snare. Nope, I got the boar instead. Helm splitter, absolute overkill. Oh, I'm gonna kill the boar with that, aren't I? It, it's running off with Queen. Beautiful. Right, so anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. Hope you're still enjoying. Thank you so much for watching. And me, Silvarius, Alistair, and Queen. We'll see you next time.